Okay, so remember when I made that video on my SIM rig and I shut off the PC that I was using? Well, a bunch of you kind of gave me a hard time for not already having a Threadripper. And it kind of got me thinking, you're right, a $20,000 Intel rig from Main Gear in 2020 just isn't gonna cut it. So today, I'm gonna build my first ever computer. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? $30,000 worth of parts, I'm even gonna make my own custom water loop with these things. <laughs> Custom loops out of pet G. <laughs> That's right, my pet's a G. So before I got started, don't worry, I did a bunch of research and I made sure I watch the best videos on YouTube to learn from all the pros. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. especially the famous one done by The Verge. And I have learned so much. Actually, side note, the commentary that was done on that video is absolutely entertaining. Definitely worth a watch. So, to start the build, ASUS was kind enough to send over this ROG Strix Helios white limited edition case. Now, personally, I'm excited about this case because I think it actually looks super sleek the brushed, shiny, aluminum, whatever this stuff is, it looks way better than an all black box, in my opinion. Which by the way, do you see that tag? It's like a tag you find on clothing. I also happen to like the fact that it kind of matches my dogs. Dogs, that's right. <laughs> because Andy got a sister. Meet Abby, this is Andy's little sister. So you're gonna get a chance to see Abby in some future videos too. But again, like I was saying, the reason why I like this case so much is because their dog hair is not gonna show up as much. I'm still gonna have to blow it out with a leaf blower every once in a while, but it won't be nearly as bad as that main gear rig. Oh, and don't forget the giveaway. You still have time to enter. The link is down below, so definitely go check it out. Also, when I stream my race this week, I will say another code word for you to enter some additional entries. So make sure you tune in. So for the motherboard, I'm using the ASUS Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha. So when I got this box, I thought, wait a second, they must have put in some extra parts because woo, I could do some bicep curls with this thing. But that was not the case. This motherboard is so beefy and I love the way it looks. So for the brain of this PC, I had to satisfy all you AMD fanboys. So I am using the top of the line 3990X Threadripper CPU. 64 cores of processing power to run Minesweeper. Just kidding. Actually, even the most demanding sim racing games won't even utilize 64 cores. But like I said, we are going all out. So technically, I'm building the most powerful sim rig PC in the world, assuming it works, of course. And to keep this CPU nice and cool, I'm gonna be using the Quantum Momentum made specifically for this motherboard from EK Waterblock. This waterblock even replaces the MOSFET fans up top. This is gonna look real nice. And because of all the silver on the motherboard, the case, some of the water cooling parts, I decided to go with the Trident Z Royal Ram. I know, I know, this has been very overused in a lot of PC builds this year, but this is new to me and I decided to go with 256 gigabytes. And honestly, I think it's quite gorgeous. When I first opened this box, I thought, woo, are those real diamonds? Until I got a little closer and realized, nope, just plastic crystal motif. Either way, it's gonna look real good in that case. Now, because I'm gonna be using this as my sim racing and streaming rig, I'm using two eight terabyte Gen 3 M.2 SSDs booting in the DIM.2 slot. And amazingly, this TRX40 motherboard from ASUS has three additional M.2 slots. I'm gonna fill those slots with two terabyte Gen 4 M.2 SSDs. So this is kind of crazy. Before I even install any other hard drives to this motherboard, there's already 22 terabytes of storage. Anyway, enough with that. Let's just get to the build.
think? You can you can be honest. Comment down below. But I happen to love it. It just totally makes me smile. Do you see all the colors? I mean, how could you not smile looking at this thing? I've always been a Mac girl, and I currently edit on Final Cut Pro, but after building this, I realized how fun it actually is to customize your computer exactly how you want it. So maybe I should learn to edit on Adobe Premiere. We'll have to see. But nonetheless, this computer makes me super happy and I can't wait to use it while I'm sim racing. So I noticed ASUS created this LED design on the front glass panel. And I really wanted to preserve that, so I left the ROG fans that were attached to the white bracket and created a push-pull system by sandwiching a 420 millimeter radiator from EK and attached the 140 millimeter QL fans from Corsair. So without that system, you wouldn't really be able to appreciate this LED design. And the top fans, 120 millimeter on a 240 millimeter radiator. A 360 millimeter radiator did fit up top, but it almost left me no room for tubing. So that's why I went with the smaller one. I also managed to fit a 140 millimeter fan in the back. So airflow wise, the front is pull in, the top and back are push out. So does that make sense? I hope so. And if I am totally wrong, please, can you let me know? Leave a comment down below. The last thing I wanna do is start a house fire. I need to protect my little, my little nuggets. Now the inside is RGB galore, although I actually have additional RGB strips. So, you know, maybe if you want to get a little crazy one night, we can install these too. We'll see. Maybe check out the stream and, and I'll show you if I upgrade it. Actually, I was probably the most nervous when taking apart the Titan RTXs because I think I had that feeling of, all right, I've reached the point of no return. Especially when it came to mounting the EK water block, I did not want to mess that up. After looking back, probably that wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part was actually just separating the Titan at the beginning. After you take off a zillion screws, that thing is so sturdy. I thought I was gonna snap it in half when I was trying to separate it. I think it actually took me almost 30 minutes. But once I got it apart, you know, and gave myself a pep talk, it was pretty smooth sailing. So don't let that part intimidate you. So overall, it took me about a whole day to do the motherboard, CPU, the two graphics cards. So next time around, when I build my second computer, I anticipate this to go much faster. That is unless I'm filming with 500 cameras, because that, that slows it down a tad. So spec-wise, you already know it's got the 3990X Threadripper, and it's fantastic. The only thing that is not is the smell of this box. I have no idea what the heck is in here, but it, oof, it does not smell good. Wow. Along with those beautiful rock candies. That's right, the Trident Z Royale RAM from G-Skill. 256 gigabytes at 3200 megahertz. They just look delicious. I wanna take a bite out of them. I don't know if it's because maybe I'm a little overtired and famished because I've, you know, maybe been working a little bit longer than I thought on this, but they are definitely one of my favorite pieces in this computer. And all of the water cooling parts are EK along with the 16 millimeter PET G tubing. Now when it comes to fitting, some are EK, some are other brands, but I really feel like there needs to be more design options out there, especially when it comes to making your own custom loops. I mean, you can really go crazy. Now, I was definitely a little bit more conservative. I had some grandiose ideas in my mind, much harder to execute. Now when I look at some pre-made builds like my main gear rig, I can see why most of the tubing is straight and the fittings are used around the bends, which is much easier. I personally would rather have more tubing, less fittings, and I would love to make some crazy loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm just not there yet. It's a whole different skill set, but I have confidence I can get there. And if anyone watching can do that kind of stuff and you want to work together and make a pretty sick video, well, let's do it. Let me know. Contact me. Now, because I had two low points in the radiator, I made two drains, one here and one there. So here's how the loop works. It leaves the pump, goes to the radiator, shoots to the CPU, leaves the CPU water block, then up to the top radiator, and then down to the graphics cards. And voila, you got a water-cooled system. And I think everyone should consider building their own PC because the money you save, you can use that towards better components. And don't be intimidated by the process, even if something takes a little bit longer than you thought, because at the end, when you flick on that switch and everything lights up, whoo, it feels incredible. 
and maybe I was just over the moon ecstatic because I was on a time constraint and I was filming and trying to get it all done quick. But honestly, to do this on the side, I think would be very therapeutic, especially bending those tubes. I love bending tubes. You should try it, you really should try it. Now you don't have to use clear tubes, you can use metal tubes, whatever you want, but I like seeing purple, it makes me quite happy. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, the ASUS giveaway, it is still live. You have time to enter. You can go to the link below, or if you go to my ROG Phone 3 video, you can learn some additional ways to score some extra entries. Winners will be announced soon, and I'll see you next time. Bye!